Hello everyone, this is Margot from Celestory and today we will see how to create a visual novel. So as usual, this tutorial will be based on a pre-existing example entitled Visual Novel and you can find it on the Celestory website or app uh, within the examples given. So to begin with, maybe a short recap, there are three different kind of blocks in series three. You've got the logic blocks, the blocks that are linked with a template and the blocks that are not linked with a template. And there are two different types of templates, the chatbot template and the visual novel template. You can note right now that the default template is a chatbot template for any new project that you will create in Celestory. But I will show you in a few seconds how to change it to, to a visual novel one. So the chatbot template uh, is a wall for publishing messages, while the visual novel template has several particularities that we will be able to go through along this tutorial. Firstly, uh, the visual novel is made up around a scene decor that is going to be cut in a different number of places of the same width, which can adapt to the side of the screen. So if we go in the scene block, for example, you will be able to see the decor that we've chosen for this project specifically and you can see that it is divided in six slots and uh, the depth has been chosen to two. So that means that basically this uh, decor will be divided horizontally in six different uh, sections in which the characters can be placed and the depth is of two. So uh, they could be a bit more to the front or to the background according to the depth you've chosen. So for example, if we play the current module, you will be able to see them on the different slots. So as you can see, they are moving through the decor according to the different number of slots we have. The visual novel also affords a number of particularities around the characters. So for example, the characters have dialogue images and there can be a still image on the side or above uh, to each dialogue to indicate which uh, character is speaking. They can also have different moods that can be associated to different images to illustrate this mood. So if we go, for example, in our files, where we'll have all our images of our character, choosing, for example, Sherlock Holmes, you can see that I have four different images of Sherlock Holmes according to his mood. So we have angry Sherlock or a happy Sherlock or even a sad Sherlock, as you can see, who's holding his hat. So according to whatever you choose, uh, your character can have different moods. There are also a lot of all the particularities. For example, there are a lot of new blocks to animate the characters. The action of the blocks can have delays. Um, it is also compatible with an animation software uh, that allows to have skeleton with 2D and 3D effects like Spine, for example. So firstly, to activate the visual novel, you must create a new module because as I've said, by default, the template chosen will be the chatbot. So you need to create a new module. So you just need to select add at the bottom of the module menu and you can add a module. So as you can see, by default, it is chatbot. We're going to name ours, for example, Sherlock one, choose visual novel and you can add it. And there your module has been created. And then you will just have to delete the first module that you will have, which is the chatbot module. So we're just going to delete this one because it is not useful. So just click on module setting and you can remove the module. Confirm. And the module has disappeared. So now we can also see a few uh, specific blocks that you can use uh, to create a visual novel. So there are a numbers of different blocks to animate your character. So as the one we've already mentioned, the block scene allows you to display an image of scenery that is divided into uh, a certain number of location, as I've already shown you. And to this thing, you can add characters. So you will be using a block add character and you can select your character and also his mood. So, for example, here, Mrs. Itson is neutral in her mood and she will appear so in the theme and you can choose uh, her placement on the images. As I've told you before, for example, here she will be uh, into the sixth section and uh, on the first row, so in the front. You can also change their mood. So you will have uh, to use a change mood block and you just have to uh, select the character that you want to choose the mood of and then choose another mood. So for example, now Mrs. Itson is happy. 
You can also remove characters and make them disappear by removing them just by adding a remove block, for example. So you'll just have, uh, once again, to choose the character that you want to remove and then choose the transition, how you want it to disappear and so on. It is all up to you. You can also make your character do a little flip thing. So we saw that when we play the current module at the start, Mrs. Hudson on the side here uh, does a little flip at the beginning. So this block is also very simple. You can just do it by selecting a flip block such as this one, flip character. You can also even display an image or text overlay on the screen by using a slide block as you've got right there. And so if we play the current module, we'll be able to see all the specific block play through as we intended them to. So for example, we've got Mrs. Itson moving and the dialogues uh, that we planned out, a new character appears and you see that Sherlock also changed mood and as you can see now, the slide block comes into action and we have a text and an image overlay. Basically, there are numbers of combinations that you can use. It is just up to you to choose whatever you want and to create your own visual novel. You just need to experience with all the possibilities that you have. But I hope this tutorial was useful to you and we will see you very soon in a new video. Bye!